Older so client has been updated to Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.21.121. Yes, I know these versions are getting incredibly confusing, but bear with me for that. Anyways, as you can see, I already got the launcher over here. If you want to get it for yourself, I'll put their official link down in the description below. I've gotten this link from their official Discord server, which I'll also link down in the description below for your convenience. By the way, don't forget to join my Discord server, link in the description, because we've got so many more clients just like this one right there. Anyways, as I said, I've already got it here though, and if you also have it, then you can simply double click on this, just like so, and it's going to open right up, no installation or anything like that. You should already see the latest version over here, incredibly convenient, and then we can simply click on launch, and what that's going to do is automatically open up Minecraft Bedrock Edition with Odor So Client injected. So I'm inside of Minecraft Bedrock Edition over here, except I can't actually open Odor So yet. Now you might notice that Minecraft Bedrock has recently updated to GDK from UWP. If you don't know what that is, then it doesn't really matter at all. But there's a few differences, such as that we can actually minimize this and then click on it again. And we don't get kicked from the world. Like, that's insane. Bunch of other things as well. Anyways, basically this also kind of changes how clients function. The Odorso launcher hasn't updated perfectly yet to be compatible with this, and so sometimes you'll need to launch it again after you've already started up Minecraft. As you can see, we've now gotten the correct notification, and so we should be good. If I go back in here, I can then press on the L key on my keyboard, and that's going to open up Odorso client's click GUI area, which I'll explain more about right now. But First, actually, I have made an in-depth usage tutorial for Odorso, and that is going to be linked right down in the description below. For right now, I'll just show you how to get started. So to get started, you do want to press on the L key on your keyboard, and this is the main click UI area. It contains all of the utilities that Odorso client has to offer. We can click on these to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, and click on their general area for the customization menu, as you can see, some of these have quite a lot of customizations available. And for the rest, hover over these to figure out what they do. And it's literally that simple to use Odorso Client. You can star these to pin them as well. And if you're looking for something specific, then just type it into the search bar. Additionally, on the left-hand side, there's also a config manager. Here you can save all of the customizations and stuff that you have set up here. So you can reuse them or enable specific configurations at certain times. That's really amazing. Then there's some mod menu settings over here, and there's actually a lot more here than you might think, because we can select all these different categories of customizations here as well, so definitely don't miss that. For the rest here, there's just some general client settings, and then there's a HUD editor as well. What is that, you may ask? Well, actually, some of these utilities are going to be things that show up on your screen. Like this one, which is going to display my active clicks per second. You'll notice it on the left-hand side over there, but... I mean, I don't like it in that position, so I'll open this, then go to the HUD editor, and then I can select this and move it to, oops, move it to wherever I want on the screen. Pretty cool, right? Maybe I just want it to be down there. If you want to further customize it, then simply click on it over here, and you can, you can completely customize the way it looks. I want it to be quite a lot bigger and as you can see it'll update live in the bottom right hand corner it's a little dark if you ask me so i'll just go like this and then click on save and now the text is a lot brighter so this is nice maybe i'll change the separator to that beautiful now i think it looks better or whatever of course you can do whatever you want anyways that's basically that for order so clients definitely make sure to just open up the click gui area scroll through everything because they have so much to offer anyways for right now though thank you ever as much for watching and i do of course hope to see you all again in the next one oh yeah and also sorry about my voice which is a little chopped today but i really wanted to get this video out for you guys peace